Most anglers will tell you that red for the pre-spawn bass bite is the best color there is. Red chatterbaits, jigs, crankbaits, whatever the bait, you're told to just use red. Some anglers may believe that pre-spawn bass are keying in on protein-rich crawfish this time of year to feed up for the spawn. And that's why the red color works so well. Other anglers believe while this does help, the red color flash is what actually draws the bite, more of a reaction strike than an actual search for a specific prey. To figure out why red works so well during the pre-spawn, we need to talk about what these fish are actually doing during this time of year. During the pre-spawn, bass are just now coming out of their winter haunts and moving into staging areas to feed up for the spawn. They will put on a lot of weight during this period as they typically will not eat much until after the spawn is over. The pre-spawn time period typically starts when water temps reach the upper 40s and lower 50s. Bass are cold-blooded creatures, meaning their body temperature is regulated by the surrounding water. All of the fish's metabolic functions rely on body temperature. So when water temperatures reach the upper 40s into the lower 50s, these fish naturally become more active. The increase in water temperature increases their metabolism and turns on the need to feed again. Well, what does that actually have to do with fishing red during the pre-spawn? During the same time that bass are moving up from deeper, more regulated water, crawfish are moving out of their wintering areas and are becoming more active. Crawfish start to move shallow and become more active right around the 50 degree mark. What timing! So it makes sense to most that because these two events occur at the same time, bass must be eating red lures because they're eating red crawfish. But there may be more validity to the school of thought for it being a reaction strike rather than just keying on crawfish. According to a Texas Parks and Wildlife Department inland fisheries biologist, while it's not uncommon for crawfish to display some shades of dark red, or at least red dots around their claws, most in southern reservoirs still have a dark olive to green pumpkin appearance this time of year. So why do these bright colors work so well during the pre-spawn? Maybe it's not that it's just mimicking a crawfish, but rather is a combination of both color and reaction. The same Texas Parks and Wildlife Department inland fisheries biologist thinks this may be the factor as he said, if the success of red was purely from that of mimicking crawfish, there would be more use of Texas rig red crawl imitations this time of year. The success is more from the style of baits that draw reaction strikes this time of year, and the color is often a secondary factor, if a factor at all. Now that you have a little bit of an idea as to why these fish could be keyed in on red this time of year, let's go out on the water and see if it actually works. Guys, 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 please stay down, honey, please. Not as big as I thought, but a great big. Get in that net. Get in that net, baby. Let's go, son. Boom, baby. Ugh, all day. Ooh. All day. Ah, let's go, son. Look at that. Look at that. Boom. You want to tell me that fire tiger crawl don't work on the pre spawn, baby? Ah, oh, let's go. Let's get it. Let's snap a pic of this slob real quick with that thing in her mouth. Oh, yeah. First five of the year, boys. Let's go. Get in there and get going. Oh. See you later, sweetheart. Ha <laughs> ha. Boom, son. All right, y'all, if you guys are liking today's video, make sure you smash that like button below. It's very clear to me and it should be clear to you that these pre-spawn bass absolutely love that red color. Make sure you guys get out there and toss red on your local pond, home lake, whatever. And remember, I'm Mike G, this is Largemouth Blast, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.